by all the works that I've so far been I am a bad boy. I've been pretty consistent being a bad boy and um, I think this is a step forward in that direction. It's never tried in uh, Indian market. Uh, nobody has dared to attempt this and now especially people like lot of horror, a lot of gore, they want to see a lot of bloodshed. I don't know for what to, for some reason. I've consciously not touched the graphic novel because I, I want to see what this is first and then go back to that. Same thing happened with me with Puneen Salon also. Like I never read the book. I just first learnt Manisar's Puneen Salon and then only sort of now I'm reading the book. Hi, welcome to Times of India. Today we are going to have an interview with the team of The Village which is an Amazon original series. Welcome sir. Uh, so my first question to you. So Aval was a stand mark in the Tamil film for horror. Will Village set the same or will, will it cross the barriers of others? So as filmmakers, we always try to push the barriers in every film that we do and uh, try to do better and all of that in every film that we do. So uh, in that way, I think we have tried something very, very ambitious with the village. And so I think it will set new benchmarks in, in long form series storytelling and hopefully, you know, you know, be you know, I wouldn't say better because that's still, you know, uh, but I think hopefully we push the boundaries more and, and got something exciting for the audience. And how different will the village be from our? Because that's a proper. No, no, it's completely it's different. different. It's emotionally got very different beats. Mm -hmm. It's more. It's it's very rooted. See, our, our world was set in the Himalayas with a family there and this thing. But here, uh, Arya sir plays a you know a character called Gautam, and uh, his family gets uh, uh, you know he loses his family in a place which is close to Tutukudi, which is in the heartland, which is properly in the heartland of Tamil Nadu and all that. So it is completely opposite to what the setting of Aval was, you know. And so it is, and the emotions of uh, going through and finding his family and the story that happens in one night with the help of a group of people, uh, you know, uh, locals uh, in, in a village close by. And that's those are the characters played by uh, Muthukumar and Narain and... George, George sir and everybody. So though that that um, that journey of this band of misfits, if you can call it that, and just a person who's, uh, it's a very emotional core of, at the end of it and the horrors they face. So it's completely different that way from in from what we've seen in our actually. Yeah. Uh, Alisa, my next question to you. So comparatively to the projects that you have chosen, horror is so something that you've done very rare. So what was the difference that you faced when you chose the village? See, this, uh, this project was brought to me by Milan and the producer uh, Radha sir. So I thought, uh, for me when I heard it, I thought it was very unique, one of its kind. It's never tried in uh, Indian market. Uh, nobody has dared to attempt this. And now especially people like a lot of horror, a lot of gore. They want to see a lot of bloodshed. I don't know, for, what to, for some reason. <laughs> So I think uh, when he narrated the whole idea, uh, I felt uh, uh, this will work with the audience and uh, uh, and it's going to be a, like a different experience as a viewer. So I thought uh, I should be a part of it. That is the original idea because uh, um, as an actor, uh, the work, the, um, the kind of work I had to put in into this project is very minimal compared to uh, the kind of work, the CG, the prosthetic, everything what they have to work was too big. So I thought, okay, at least um, I want to be a part of something really big and one of its kind. And it's good. it was my first original. So uh, when I thought, okay, when I'm going to do my first original, I might as well be a part of something really good. So that was the basic idea. And uh, and what I told him was when he explained the whole thing, because it's inspired from a graphic novel. So I told him, uh, if you could achieve like 60 to 70 percent of what you're saying, it will be very big because the kind of, because when you see it, you'll know it. So, so I think uh, he's done very good job and he's achieved what he is supposed to achieve. So let's see on the 24th what the audience have to say. Sir, um, Muthu Kumar, I have a question for you. Unga role is always based either on a strong negative role or a strong person. Will, will you have a difference in the village or will your role be mostly on uh, being very strong person? See, this character is a positive character. Though. 
பட் ஐ எம் டூயிங் த கலோக்கியல் த தூத்துக்குடி ஸ்லாங் வட்டார மொழி சி ஆஸ் ஆக்டராக ஐ எம் டூயிங் த கேரக்டர் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் த கலோக்கியல் த வேர்ட் ஸோ மிலன் சார் வந்து அது எனக்கு அந்த வாய்ப்பை கொடுத்தது நான் சரியாக பண்ணியிருக்கேன் வி வில் சி டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர்த் ஆஃப்டர் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர்த் பாருங்கள் Uh, Arjun sir, for, uh, as you mentioned that you, the, you're the main antagonist of the series. Did I mention that? But yeah, sure. <laughs> and the previous interview. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Yeah. So as you mentioned, you were the antagonist of the series. And, uh, how will your screen presence be? Will I be able to see you directly as in the screen as the person who's creating trouble or the person who's behind the screen is creating the trouble? See, by, um, by the image of or, or by all the works that I've so far been, I am a bad boy. Mm. And I've been quite... Uh, um very consistent ruthless. with it <laughs> very ruthless <laughs> absolutely ruthless uh, mm. i've been pretty consistent being a bad boy and um, i think this is a step forward in that direction uh, i would say and um, you know interestingly everybody very bad boy a very mm. very, very a bad, bad boy, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and they had a very mean boy. look also yeah, <laughs> yeah i look uh, yeah, nothing like what i am right now in the series and i look terrifying <laughs> and um, incidentally like I'm a very soft person in in reality as opposed to all the characters mm-hmm. that I play on screen and um, village is further push that that sort of zone of how how bad can I get really and uh, what's interesting for me with the character is is really um, you know he's he's an he's a rich spoiled kid who is affected by disability so his ambitions don't stop at the value of life and he constantly keeps pushing the bar of how far he can take it with every little thing when you see the series you'll truly know the meaning of what i'm saying now and um, it's 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 also a different character it was challenging in the sense that um he was a person i mean who couldn't walk and talk i mean i have no legs i'm on a wheelchair constantly so it's it's sort of the psyche of someone who's bound onto a wheelchair and uh, he's got this ambition of of a giant and he's he's so powerless imagine the kind of power he'd want to imagine the kind of power hunger he'll have that's what the character is and that's what is sort of driving the plot and that's what causes trouble to his family that's what causes trouble to all these characters and bring them together sort of that's who i am in the series and and uh, you know um, i i suppose the character is not so much in the graphic novel if if prakash is yeah, yeah. this is a completely uh, like i said we have just been inspired mm-hmm. by the graphic yeah. novel and there's a lot more characters and a lot more uh uh you know uh lot lot more storytelling that has come in uh that we uh, have uh, as a writers room you know dheeraj bhai the deepthi and me has uh, have kind of worked on to to build and you know to to be able to do this kind of long form storytelling and all of that so it's it's the starting point was the inspiration from the graphic novel but it's built up into much 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 more than than that yeah so my character is one of those things that you won't see in the graphic novel but then again is sort of driving the plot over here so that's that's the sort of inspiration and that's the sort of um sticking to the graphic novel but at the same time sort of creating your own world when you're making it for the big screen and i think it's a very exciting um subject to to see because mutants is not something we've really explored in 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 the indian panorama and uh, I really look forward. So you said you uh, drafted it from the novel the village has come out from the graphic novel. So <clears throat> have you changed the story a lot or is it very similar to the novel? See the core emotional story of uh, Gautam and his family getting lost and helped by a group of people from a nearby village stays the same. But then beyond that you know to make it into a series we need to have more layers of the back story, more layers of uh of tension and suspense and all of that and and so we have expanded the world and expanded the world and uh, uh and that that is uh because um Amazon Prime really really you know was believed in the vision of what we were trying to say with the with the graphic novel and all that and uh, with with the take off from the graphic novel and and we were able to develop the story uh with the writers room and everything over a long period of time it took us and but we were able to crack a story that will hold your attention for six episodes for nearly 4 hours 4 and a half hours and all that so it it is a it's a, it is a lot that is different from the graphic novel but the core emotional story of it remains the same and uh, it's also like i said people have to buy into this vision and uh, it was amazon prime 
you know and uh, our producer mr ds radhakrishnan who they they had belief in that we could take it to where we were trying to you know pitch it as a one of a kind you know survival horror series and uh, all of that and uh, and i'm happy to say that we're in a very good space now and i think that it will be something that the audiences will will enjoy watching as as a very new experience uh, so my next question to you uh, when you say it's horror thriller and it's based on the novel uh, were you not able to do it without the vfx and i want to know why you were stressing on the vfx of the village okay see there are some things that physically it's impossible to do uh for even a stunt performer you know it's like if you need it's something of your head you yeah, do it uh, chopping of your head and then you have some <laughs> mute vfx so yeah there's some mutants <laughs> are crawling in very very like uh you know randomly awkward positions and then uh, and then there is a there's a chase sequence by this i don't want to give too many spoilers which you just cannot execute uh, uh, with with animals you know which mm. is fully done in vfx so i don't want to say what animal and all of that because i want the surprise to be there so that all of those things and interacting th- those kind of mutant animals with the actors is i mean you can never get that you can never make that happen in real life so there has to be certain things that we had to you know fill in with the vfx which has uh, you know uh, which which we have really put our effort into and and we've got we've got something that's why i said it's in a very unique space where you'll see things that you've never seen before and we've really worked hard to make sure it's achievable but mainly it's about the certain things that no human performer or uh, you know can actually execute in in real mm. life we needed to have that support of vfx to be able to uh, pull it off convincingly that's why so yeah uh, i have a question for you uh, f- so as you said your uh, your role as gautam the film and your family gets stuck and you emotionally get connected to the entire story but before you go to the village do you have another side of your story in the series because we've seen you as both as a commercial a hero a person who's laughing a person who does action and a person who's also taken up a serious role so the village will show both side of yours or will will it completely show you as a serious person um, it, it just starts off with the uh, what the introduction of my family and but that's not the uh, huge part you know because uh the back story of what i am how is my family that's not the whole idea of it so the uh, the whole idea is what happens <coughs> once i get stuck and i lose my family so that's the main core story so i i, I don't think he wasted too much time getting into that area so i think even the maybe the 10th minute of the first episode he gets into that uh that area so so that's pretty fast for a series uh, for a uh, series you know otherwise what happens is they'll tell you their family how they are what they are doing so i think he he really didn't waste time uh, on establishing my uh, family bonding or whatever but what was required what was there uh, it was very well uh, said so that was enough i thought even i thought that was enough thank you sir ajun sir uh, uh, you just mentioned previously that your character that you've done in the series did not have much uh, content in the book So how much freedom did you have to play a role? Oh, I haven't read the graphic novel at okay. all. I mean, as much as I have seen and I am know it's inspired from a graphic novel, and I wonder the only um, information or the content that I have been given is what what the director has given me in terms of the script. And uh, incidentally, I have shot for the series twice. Every other actor has shot once, but I have shot twice because my audition, I shot all my scenes. Mm-hmm. I remember I came to the office about three hours. They had like whatever seven days of work was there. I shot everything. on that day and then over the next 7 8 months or one year i shot it all again so my reference was completely from only what the director has given me and the graphic novel like till now i have not um, i've consciously not touched the graphic novel because i i want to see what this is first and then go back to that same thing happened with me with punin selvan also like i never read the book i just first learned manisar's punin selvan and then only sort of now i'm reading the book so that's how i work thank you sir thank you